Harmonics are a fantastic way to embellish a piece with chiming melodies and accompaniments and have been used by many great players from Chet Atkins to Eric Mongrain. This short piece demonstrates how various different types of harmonic can be used in an instrumental. Natural, artificial and harp harmonics will be used alongside one another to demonstrate how each type can generate a different effect. The introduction uses natural harmonics. The 12th fret ones can be played with the 4th finger and the 7th fret ones by the 3rd finger whilst the normally played notes ring on. The key to a chiming sound with these harmonics is the lightness of touch and moving the finger off the string quickly but gently once the harmonic is played. The way you play natural harmonics on your picking hand can make a big difference to their tone. Aiming for near the bridge, as you can see me here, can provide a sharper, more bell-like sound. This next section introduces artificial harmonics on the open first and second strings. These are provided by the index finger being placed lightly over the fret, whilst the ring finger plucks the string. The gap between your index and ring finger here can affect the tone of the harmonic. You don't want the fingers to be too close together as the harmonic will sound thin and lack sustain. It's worth playing the normal notes in this section over the neck like this, so the artificial harmonics are easy to get to quickly. The fretting hand can hold onto the chord shape so the harmonies ring on as the artificial harmonics chime over the top. The end of this section introduces the other method of playing artificial harmonics, this time over fretted notes with the index finger lightly touching the fret and the thumb plucking the string. These artificial harmonics are sounded 12 frets higher than the fretted notes. As with the previous method, the gap between finger and thumb here is important to the overall tone of your harmonic and don't want to be too close together. Again, keeping the chord shape down here is important as the harmonies want to ring together whilst the harmonics are played. This method of playing artificial harmonics with thumb and index is good preparation for the next section which introduces harp harmonics. Harp harmonics are effectively an artificial harmonic followed by a normally played note in a repetitive pattern. Here you can see the thumb plucks the harmonic followed by the ring finger playing the open first string normally to produce a drone. The end of this section has pull-offs between each of the artificial harmonics in a typical harp harmonic pattern. Whilst the pull-offs are being played, try and move your picking hand over to the next harmonic so it is ready and waiting. This will aid the smoothness of this passage. Furthermore, try to make sure the pull-offs don't dampen any other strings around them so the harmonics can ring through uninterrupted. This leads the piece into a repetition, but this time the artificial harmonics are 7 frets higher than the fretted notes, so it can be found on the 8th and 9th frets. After a repeat of the main body of the piece, the outro features harp harmonics over an E major chord followed by E suspended 4th. The harmonics here start on the 6th string with the ring finger playing 2 strings higher before the pattern repeats up one string at a time. Try to aim for an even rhythm between harmonics and normal notes here and ensure the normal notes aren't drowning out the harmonics. The final harmonics are natural and are found on the 5th fret of 1st and 2nd strings, plucked together by index and middle finger. Here's the track pieced together at full speed. <laughs>